Well, here we are trying to fix things that's wrong with this cornet. We're going to fix motor mounts and brakes, and we was planning on starting before daylight uh, went away, but we went out to eat, and then the alternator went out, and we had to try to find one. Nobody has one in stock, of course, so I had to come rob one off the old 87 Dodge put on here. So hopefully that'll work, but I got my Roger here helping me. And uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here videoing, letting him bang his head and do all this stuff for me. I fed him some Mexican food before he got out here. <laughs> and it's his birthday in a few days, so he needs the experience. <laughs> He's got a little bit of experience. He's got a few old cars around here. That belt ain't the straightest. It's a little crooked because that's a two groove pulley instead of a single groove but that's all I got so it'll get me home maybe I'll get the right alternator tomorrow yeah we're gonna have to I want a car that launches like this <laughs> maybe this one will someday wouldn't that be awesome with a 318 that'd be great this is a lot of fun watching you light that with a blowtorch He flooded the candle. Ain't very many people flood a candle. I've seen people flood carburetors a lot, but flooding the candle takes a lot of work. We're attempting to change the motor mounts, especially the one here on the driver's side. Uh, this car has built-in rust proofing where it drips oil and leaks all over everything. So, uh, keeps it from rusting. It's also got the original Oklahoma grass that was growing in it, still in it, along with all the dirt and grime and nasty. Oh, in the dark. I'm just gonna hit something. Yeah. Well, it's only flattening the oil pan. That's all right. Just there keep going. There it goes. Nope. Look at there. We ain't unbolted anything. And that motor mount. <laughs> it ain't there. It left the chat. It said bye. We oh. could just chain it down, you know. Yeah, we could just run a ratchet strap over it. But I can weld the chain on there. I've got. It's a Bluetooth chain. motor mount. <laughs> oh! I'm trying to get a good view of it. Huh? Yeah, there ain't nothing left. Hopefully, we'll change that and we'll be in good shape. When you drive one of these old cars, you get pretty good at ignoring stuff like Almost pouring bolts. Out of them. <laughs> <laughs> we don't own a flashlight, but we own a cell phone. We might own a flashlight, but we don't want to go look for it. I, I can't find it. It's around here somewhere. Uh, we, but we're ignoring things and trying to find things. That's uh, a 9 Probably need a wrench on that side. Does it take a wrench over there? Looks like it. Well, it looks like it's going to fall out. It, I know it does. Is it bolted on? I mean, is it? It looks like the thing's is out. Not well on? There it goes. There it goes. It looks like it's out now. Yeah, it's out. 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 Motor ain't high enough to get it out yet, is it? Well, it's only half of the. It's only half of the mount. If you took the other half off, it probably. We'll see if these motor mounts work since we've through all this trouble. Ain't nothing wrong with that motor mount. What's the matter with No. Oh! That one up there has got a nut and bolt on both sides. Nothing left of that. We're trying these Lakewood Industries motor mounts. Hopefully they'll be all right. I don't know if you can see this or not. It says made in Korea. We'll see. I don't think you can get any made in the United States anymore. Maybe some polypropylene ones or something. These are supposedly made by Holly. Or a trademark of Holly or part of Holly or something. Maybe they'll be good. They were not the cheapest ones and not the most expensive ones. They were kind of in the middle. So hopefully they'll hold up all right. We'll find out. They even came with stickers. 
So I got stickers for the toolbox. <laughs> what toolbox? Now I have... <laughs> You don't have a toolbox. I got one for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so now everybody will know what brand of motor mounts I'm using and think I'm fancy. <laughs> Honestly, if I can get it in there assembled like this, it would have to go in assembled. It would have to go in from the bottom. Oh. Don't do this at home unless you're glutton for punishment. I need that bolt anyways, bro. Oh, man. This is how you do this. You jack the car up so you have to stretch even farther to go in from the top. You don't want to go in from the bottom with it up on a jack. <laughs> Which it's not. It's on jack stands. So we're safe sometimes. Occasionally. But when you're really tall like Roger, you have to jack the car up to go in from the top. Am I helping? <laughs> no. Three of those are on there. You know, you can talk to the, or at least we'll say they are. Say that again. I <laughs> said, just put free labor gets you. <laughs> gets you what? A broken cross threaded bolt. <laughs> you can always tack it to the frame. Or at least <sighs> this other half of this motor mount. How about we just put some plumbing strap around? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I told you in the beginning I had some chain I could weld to it. Oh, we'll just weld the motor to the cross member, the K-frame. That's all you need to do. It's getting late. So we got the broke one on. The other side's not broke yet. And plus when it torques, it goes this way. So that's the important side that we did. We're just going to put the other one in the back of the car with the rest of the spare car that we have in the back of the car. Uh, hopefully this will be the last time I've got to adjust this. Uh. 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 Need a new one of them. These things are very soft. I hope I didn't break it by bending it back and forth about a thousand times because I can't keep my foot off the gas pedal. Let's on the choke. Harrison? Better. Uh, this Mopar yeah. air cleaner still hits my choke on my Adabrock AVS. So I'm going to have to figure that out. It's got a spacer under there, half inch spacer already. So I guess that I have to find an air cleaner that fits these AVSs better. But this one's pretty. It says Mopar on it. 11 o'clock at night and we're still trying to figure out drum brake puzzle. I got an hour to go home and I'm too sleepy already. And my phone's at 2%. I don't have a charger in this car. But my wife's with me and she's got a phone that hopefully is charged. So if something falls apart, I'll call Roger call and me, call my brother. I'll let her. <laughs> oh. On my way back home from Rogers we fixed a lot of stuff United States Marine Corps helped us out tonight and he didn't even know it we stole a alternator off his truck hopefully I can get it back on there before he finds out and comes and beats the snot out of me so I hear rattle rattle tingling ting driving and pull over at the gas station and I knew that was going to happen. And here I am without an Allen key or nothing. So, we'll see. Hopefully I can just get that out and take this off. We'll see. It's been a late night.